hello and welcome guys to another part of my video tutorial series now in this part i will tell you about a mouse control script actually now before our mouse look means mouse controls were just like this we can rotate it from left to right and then left to left up to down and then but now means have, we have a second option and i will even add more and you can find the script after some modifications in our in the asset store and now if you want to know how means you can make it make this type of script keep watching now not stopping but now first the script the script is like this it's actually a merge up of two scripts that you can find in your assets assets bundle that comes pre loaded with not now but still 4.0 version or may be somewhat ahead versions like don't forget that but now about the script first there are some variables these variables are also both from both scripts mouse look and mouse smooth follow scripts that are that were found in unity well actually i don't know but then first is target which is a transform and then distance is the distance between camera and game object and the height required height height damping which would be how our height would get affected as a target means will bounce up or means fall down or something like that and then X speed means horizontal speed of our mouse then vertical speed then vertical lim minimum limit and then vertical maximum limit means over these means the Y rotation dot Y of our camera will not exceed no, no will not be less than 10 and will not be greater than 60 now a uh, private variable is fixed means this variable is used to check whether our camera is fixed or not and make changes according to it and it is a boolean set to true and then yes the problem with this this variable is I have set this totally different so it's fixed false and then is fixed and fixed look fixed look and then rotate look yeah now they are much better easier to understand that was just a little mistake now if the camera is fixed then fix look and if else not then rotate look now to I have also created a component menu named ball mouse you can create it anything you want uh, or either even put a string here a string means a variable or a string I think so it would work now I've called uh, this in a late function so it will be executed after the scene has been rendered and then means these things I have told you and then rotate look now how it look with how rotate look will work then if target is not found then that will show a error and return and if the target is found then X which is a private variable X right here plus equals means x plus this thing is equals to x equals x plus this value input dot get access the horizontal axis of our mouse into x speed into 0 0.2 to somewhat reduce it and then y minus equals input dot get access vertical axis into y speed into 0 0.2 yeah you can also read these comments
and then y equals clamp angle y y minimum and y maximum now what this clamp angle is it is actually a function this one which requires an angle which is which would be a float minimum angle a float and a maximum angle float if angle is smaller than minus 360 angle plus equals 360 so that the angle would get equals to zero and then angle is well, greater than 360 angle minus equals 360 and then again it would be equals to zero now math f dot clamp and clamp so this will clamp this value of angle so that it never exceed the mini maximum value and is never less than the minimum value and then return this thing and then a uh, private variable two private variables actually and rotation dot quaternion dot equal this function is used to means create a quaternion rotation from a vector three now the actual format of creating a vector three is like x y and z and here y is put it before x in the position of x and x is put it placed in the position of y means the purpose of doing this is to get a free look means if you will actually place y x this would give us a inverted yeah inverted mouse look and then position equals rotation rotation this thing into vector 3 0 0 and minus distance the distance between camera and object plus target dot position the position of target right here and then transform dot rotation equals rotation and transform dot position equals position now one thing uh, what you can do here is to create a somewhat um, dynamic look you can just place vector 3 dot slurp and just type this transform dot position then position means current position and the position we want to and the rate time dot delta time into 5 now let's see it this look is actually good but isn't that good means this would amaze or not amaze but just see this desire also this effect is good but not good for or we can say that hardcore gaming and also not that smooth you can do this thing with <coughs> rotation also and rotation and also call this vector 3 dot lerp like this vector 3 dot lerp then same thing here also and here they are the same options quaternion dot slurp or lerp means these are linear and spherical interposed between two positions or rotations <coughs> means you will exactly get this definition after you use these functions and now our rotate look has been completed now fixed look same thing checking the target if target is found then want to rotation angle equals target dot equal angles dot y which is the y rotation rotation axis and then wanted height equals to the height we want then it's y position plus height and then current rotation axis angle equals transform rotation means rotation dot y and height equals transform dot rotation dot y <coughs> and then current rotation axis equals math 
Math have taught LERP angles, linear interval between angles, current rotation angle, this thing, the same value into the rotation angle we want it, and then zero. Now, why I have placed here zero is because the fact that our ball rotation keeps on changing and if means I wouldn't have placed here zero the cam would have actually showed a weird movement because the rotation axis is constantly changing so I have made it zero and then current height equals mathf dot linear interpole means a straight line between two poles and current height wanted height height damping and then time dot delta time the same thing current one want wanted height these variables can be easily understand and height damping means how our height would be affected and then current rotation regular this thing zero which is equals to zero not zero but means doesn't affects any uh, much and then transform dot position equals target dot position transform dot position minus equals current rotation into vector three dot forward into distance easy not that much but this means regular vector three value not a vector three value yes a vector three value which would be zero actually or no not zero but current height actually directly and then into vector three dot forward into distance then transform dot position dot y equals current height then transform dot look at target so that our mouse look at her target and then if input dot get axis I have actually created an axis you can also use if input dot get key down and then type the name of the key you want to s means assign that function to and then one more thing and time dot time is greater than t now t is a low private variable actually a float and what happens is means this function would be means on clicking our uh, any key this function would be regularly called and so means the x fixed variable would be regularly being would be would get true and then false true false true false and then this will um, means create a weird situation so I have actually means if uh, the camera changes means the camera straight changes t would get equals to time dot time plus 0 0.1 so that means some smoothing can be applied and weird movement can be stopped now for 0 0.1 second this function would not be called and the means where thing can be been stopped you can even test it yourself just delete this thing and check yourself and then awake this is nothing more than assigning x value equals to rotation dot y and y value equals rotation dot x because of the inverted camera look um, fact now as now you know how you can make the script and so you can put this thing in your game and if you can please give credits and thank you have a nice day like share comment and do all good stuffs thank you